Hi there guys, how are you doing? On this beautiful summer evening, I want to show to you the smallest Opaula ecospheres in the whole world. Namely, these two that I made myself and I want to explain to you how I made them. Uh, first of all, please excuse the sound of the, the traffic and you know the noise of the construction work. This is Manhattan, so you know, what can we do about it? Anyway, let's go back to the spheres. So, the first time I tried this, I bought um, a glass, a very thin glass bowl, and unfortunately I broke it. So then I wanted to find another container that was made out of plastic because plastic doesn't break. And I happened to come across these guys, and let me explain this to you because it's very funny. These are actually mojito glasses, yes. Just what you've heard. They're made for beverages and they have a lid that you can screw and unscrew and uh, a hole for the straw. But it's perfect because, you know, I have closed them and I put some tape on the hole to avoid evaporation. And this is how I made this. So I put some uh, aragonite sand, some shells, some stones, uh, algae. This algae is called kaito and is the only algae that, leave, that lives in brackish water. This is brackish water, which means it has half the density of seawater. It's in between fresh water and seawater, okay? And last but not least, uh, the, the shrimp, the opaya ola. Now, to be honest, I wasn't sure that we're gonna make it on such small containers. So what I did was I grabbed some baby shrimp that had grown at my place, uh, some larvae that were like literally just floating on the, on the, uh, in the water. And I put them here and after a year, now they are full grown up adults and they even uh, breed because I've seen tinier uh, shrimp here right now. So, so they're happy and normally the shrimp have a very intense red color. Right now, they might look a little bit transparent because I moved the balls just to make um, the video, right? But they really have a very strong red color, which means they're happy and healthy. There's something that I have to tell you also. Now, these balls have been like this for a year. I haven't even opened them. You know, it's very easy to uh, make a tank, a fish bowl, put some fish, some plants, some decoration, shoot a video, it's gonna look beautiful, but then no one is going to guarantee that that's gonna survive a week, a month or two. So it's just for the show. But this is real. I mean, I didn't set it up to make the video. This has been just like this for a year and I haven't even opened them. So they have been growing uh, the algae, the shrimp. You can even see snails. They put them when they were really tiny and they, they have grown. And they never outgrow their number, you know. They grow, I don't know how they do it, but they just don't grow too much. So once you reach the perfect equilibrium, this is perfect because it's a closed ecosystem. I don't even have to open it or to feed them. So the shrimp, which by the way come from Hawaii, and let me tell you this, this is very interesting. They live between 20 and 30 years. These tiny animals, can you believe it? Now they eat phyto phytoplankton, so I don't need to feed them. Now they poo and that, uh, turns into nitrates and algae uh, consume those nitrates and with the photosynthesis they uh, absorb CO2 and produce oxygen so it's all a closed ecosystem and that's the idea right that's what they call the ecospheres and you will see that they sell them online they're very expensive bigger ones of course and those ones are really cruel for the shrimp and let me explain to you why those ones are closed completely sealed and but also People that buy them don't have any idea about the shrimp and you can't open them or intervene if there's any issue you can't change the water or whatever with these ones I can't if I have to although I haven't touched them like I told you in a year or a year and a half <clears throat> so in those eco ecospheres uh, the shrimp will never breed and they die eventually um, stressed out and because they're not happy but here they are happy okay now the biggest ecosphere that I know of is in the Museum of Natural History of New York. It's huge. It has like four feet or more than a meter of uh, diameter. But there, of course, uh, there's uh, professional people that take care of it, right? <clears throat> so yeah, so this is the whole idea, you know, to have um, a closed ecosystem and you don't need to do anything. You don't even need to feed them. It's zero maintenance, zero cost. It's beautiful. And uh, I think it's quite original. I don't know what you think. Now, I made these two 
uh, because I wanted to make to make a present but then I thought I'm gonna keep them <laughs> also because I think it's interesting to see how they're going to evolve are they gonna be all right in another half a year or a year or two um, because right now they're doing just fine you can see some uh, shrimp swimming around so yeah well I hope you liked it and uh, that you learned something or that you found it interesting okay thanks so much for watching the video bye